So I had a request to go into a little more detail on how uh, I set up the Raspberry Pi to data log uh, from another project that I'm doing. So I made a video here. Parts we're going to need is a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino device, here's pictured as a Nano. My setup runs remotely, so I need to have wireless access to the internet to communicate with the Raspberry Pi. We're also going to need a power brick to power it, a mini USB cable, and a micro USB cable. Let's assume that you have your Raspberry Pi already set up with an operating system. Pictured here is the Raspbian operating system, uh, which has a lot of good stuff already installed and makes this whole process a lot easier. I run my Raspberry Pi headless, which means that I don't have a monitor attached to it. So in order to connect to it and c give it commands, I need to use a terminal program. Uh, I run Windows on my main PC, so I use a great terminal program called uh, Putty. Uh, very versatile. So that's why I'm going to need the wireless connection to the Raspberry Pi, so we can log in uh, with Putty if you want to use Ethernet. Uh, that's fine too. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, get to a terminal and that's what the terminal looks like uh, using PuTTY after I'm logged in. So in order to data log uh, the way I do it we need to have Python installed. Uh, in order to do that we do a sudo apt-get install Python and it shows us that we already have the newest version we're going to install a utility called TS in the more utils package. We're going to do another sudo apt-get install more utils and you can see the output of that command. Uh, next we're going to use the wget program to pull uh, our grab serial program off github and this is the command that we need to type in in order to uh, download this file from GitHub and name it as grab serial in our home directory. Here we can use the lsusb command to determine that the Arduino is connecting to the Raspberry Pi. We run the command, plug the Arduino in, run the command again, and you can see that it is showing up as a connected USB device. Now we have to identify the Arduino's uh, USB identification. W after plugging in the Arduino, we run the D message command, and we can see it's showing up as TTY USB 0. And we need that information to configure the Grab Serial program. To configure Grab Serial, we're going to use the text editing program Nano. So we're going to run Nano grab serial uh, from the home directory where we saved grab serial to and this is what nano looks like in order to get to the part of the file that we need to edit uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit page down seven times which will bring us uh, right there and we'll take a look at the lines sd.port and sd.baud rate where we're gonna change uh, the our port to dev and whatever the output of D message was and also we need to change our baud rate to 9600 because that's the most common baud rate that's used on the Arduino. After you edit it you're going to hit control X to exit then Y to save. Since this video is about how to configure the Raspberry Pi I'm not going to go into the Arduino sketch uh, but let's assume you have a sketch that's going to send data through the USB port at some interval. So let's take a look at the output of our Grab Serial program when an Arduino is connected to the Raspberry Pi. So I have a sketch that's sending data every second, and we can see that Grab Serial is outputting that data uh, to the uh, standard out here. Um, which is the display. And it will keep doing that forever. Now let's take a look at what happens when we throw the uh, TS command into the mix. TS is going to add a timestamp 
uh, to before uh, the data. So that's what the output looks like using TS. And it's a nicely formatted CSV output with the first column being the time and the second column being the data. Now we're going to redirect that output to a file uh, for data logging purposes. That's going to be our data log file. It's called test.csv right here. Notice that there's no more output coming to the display. But if we go and we open up that nano uh, with nano, we can see that all of our data is there. And we've got a nice little uh, data log here. I use a nice little program called WinSCP to transfer files from the Raspberry Pi to my uh, main uh, computer. This is what WinSCP looks like. Logging into my Pi, you can see the directory structure of the Pi is on the right hand side and my Windows PC is on the left hand side. And it's pretty much just a, you can drag and drop to uh, copy files back and forth. This uh, program uses uh, SSH for file transfer, uh, so it's secure. So let's take a look at uh, what I've data logged. Here's some uh, output from a soil moisture sensor. Uh, here's another one, another chart I made using some output from a soil moisture sensor. This setup could be used for any kind of data logging that you can think of, uh, but the real strength here is that you're getting a uh, really easy and cheap way to do some analog data logging uh, on your Pi since it does not have analog inputs. Good luck and happy data logging.